Right. We'll start with uh, Rogers outing today. Uh, struggled early, then able to bounce back in his outing. Yeah, um, you probably strange to hear this, but I'm proud of him to get through that. Um, that was not easy first inning for him. Uh, 30 plus pitches. We're probably last hitter type deal um, before we get somebody up, and that would have really put us in a bad spot um, for the next series. And you know, having using Brax yesterday, we didn't have much length in the back. Um, so proud of him to get through that. Um, would have liked to hit for him to get through five, um, but. Um, after that first inning, you know, his changeup was a lot better uh, this year than last year. Threw more first pitch strikes. I think he ball one of the first five or six hitters. Um, you know, that put him in a really bad spot. His stuff plays in the zone. You know, we've preached that um, the entire offseason and in spring, and he just didn't throw um, where he wanted it early on in the game, and um, it cost him and, you know, it cost us, unfortunately. That being said, just how encouraging, given especially his struggles last year, just to see him be able to bounce back from the situation in the first. Yeah, I mean, that's that's part of his maturity. I mean, uh, most likely he doesn't get through that first, maybe last year. And you saw a couple quick innings, the second, third inning really quick to you know, give us a chance and back in the game and give our offense a chance to fight back, um, which we did in that first couple innings, uh, just didn't uh, cash in. For saying that that fork ball, I think seven of his eight strikeouts came on that pitch. Just how challenging is it to, to hit that pitch? Yeah, he didn't have command of it the first inning or two, and then he found it. And you could see um, he had some tough swings, couldn't pick it up, um, you know, second or third time through. And fastball, his fastball command got better, which obviously helped the split. And um, yeah, I mean, there was some some tough swings on on that pitch, and, and guys just couldn't pick it up. Is it was, it was uh, pretty late uh, the movement and. Um, you know, credit to him for also going the, uh, as far as he did in the game because it was also the first inning was a lot like Trevor's. And, um, you know, he could have went into the bullpen early as well. And credit to him for fighting through and um, giving them, you know, five plus. Tough to only six. get the one run in that first when first four guys get on, get the early run, and then they slow no outs. And no yeah, we had, we, we had them on the had them on the ropes, no doubt. Um, his command wasn't there right away, a lot like Trevor's. Um, you know, Rise and um, Soler, you know, first two guys get on and a um, couple walks, thought, you know, big inning p potentially. Um, and then he punches out the next two, I think. Um, uh, you know, trying to put the ball in play, at least get one more right there would have been nice um, to tie it up and, and see what happens. But two big strikeouts in a row, I think that's uh, how that inning went. And yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously everyone wants to get a hit in that, those situations, sack fly, something, put the ball in play. There's just value putting the ball in play when there's nobody out. Um, even if it's a double play, that's a run scored. And um, they know that, you know, it's not like they don't know that, um, but uh, it would have been nice to get, obviously, an, another one right there at least. Results aside from the rotation, we've talked, I guess, the whole weekend about the walks, but to face, let's say, this challenging Mets lineup, veteran guys are going to make you work. Is it almost good that they, you know, right off the bat, you've you know, these guys are facing them, so like, all right, this is something we need to focus on next time we're out. You know, not that they don't know, but... They just got to trust their stuff. I mean, we have good enough stuff to, to kick guys out. Yeah, it's a good lineup. The Minnesota Twins lineup is going to be good, too. Um, I mean, you got to trust your stuff. Let our defense play. Our defense is um, doing just fine, you know. And uh, so if they put balls in play, you know, we feel good about us catching them. Um, the walks are going to hurt us. And, um, you know, when you're behind counts and ball one and that type of thing, you're, um, you know, typically those come back and, and score. And um, so... They, they kind of hurt us this series, um, um, but first start of the year, you know, hopefully uh, start number two is better. Overall, how pleased have you been by the performance of your bullpen, Brazabon, today being able to give you those three innings with a short start from? Braz is huge. I mean, that, I mean, he saved a lot of guys back there. We didn't have to pitch, you know, some of our back end bullpen pieces. Um, you know, Scott threw an inning. He had to pitch anyways, probably today. We wanted to get him back out there. Um, Barnes going back to back. Um, you know, we, that was okay. We didn't want to have to pitch puck and flow uh, there. Um, but Braz, man, what huge for us. Um, I know it's a loss, but picking up those innings and two and a third or whatever it was, um, came in dirty with Alonzo up, got a big out. So, yeah, I mean, he's 
um, again, when his stuff is in the zone, it plays. And um, I think that's where we're going to keep preaching that because we have good arms. Um, we just get in trouble when we're behind counts and, and giving guys free passes. On the flip side, Mets relievers, how much this series against them? It, in general, I feel like it's almost a trend in the majors, right? Just how light out guys can be. What's the challenge for batters? And when you've got those type of arms. Uh, they just have different ways to get you out. They throw strikes. Um, and, you know, you have Robertson that throws, um, you know, cutters and is really effective left and right. you got Smith that, you know, can, can get guys out that have trouble at the top of the zone. you got guys that um, can throw, um, you know, sinker slider guys that have trouble with the sinker slider. So um, they have guys in the bullpen that, um, you know, can match up really well against different lineups. And they can piece that together, you know, throughout the game. And, um you know, not that anything is ever scripted, but when you have different ways to get guys out, um, you know, that's that's makes it for a really good bullpen. And we have that, too. It's just a matter of throwing strikes. There were, it looked yeah. like there was something with Sanchez in the ninth inning. Um, caught a fly ball. Looked like he was grabbing his left wrist. Is there anything on that that you noticed, maybe? No, he took the at-bat. So, um, you know, he was, he was fine. And... Um, he came in, didn't say anything about it. You know, our trainer's checked, and he's like, no, I'm fine. Um, yep. Bobby, with the automatic the pitch violation strikeout, just anything you say to him or just when you guys are still maneuvering through? No, I mean, it's, it happened a couple times in spring training, too, uh, with Avi, you know, getting the called strike. And um, this one was a strikeout, obviously, in a game that really counts. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's, he's used to taking his time a little bit, um, you know, before the the new rules and he's he's still adjusting to it obviously um you know i think that was a uh, that was pretty close but it's still that that's the rule so um just something that he's just gonna have to get used to and and get back in the box a little bit quicker but um you know that's that's part of the new rules Something I noticed, I don't know how often this happens, uh, when the Mets have had runners on third this year it's like it almost seems like they've gone halfway or even further close to home is that something the pitching staff is Either just don't stay aware because it's almost like they're trying to bait. It's only when lefties are in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, lefties are hitting typically when we're you know in the six hole uh, playing deep. Um, that's also with two outs, so you're not really protecting the bunt. If in two strikes, you usually give them a strike or whatever our scouting has, has shown. Um, if they bunt or not or that type of thing, um, we would do the same thing uh, when we get guys on third with the lefty up. But um, we just haven't shown that yet. After some struggles there in the first, you were able to bounce back at a nice adding outside the Cutting States fan. Overall, how do you feel about it? Uh, you know, just really amped up that first inning. You know, first first outing of the year. Kind of had a tough time really getting heart rate under control. Just really just amped up, really ready to go, and kind of got my command out of whack. And so, really, just got to clean that up. Um, you know, if I make the play to McNeil, I get out of it. Um, so I just have to make that play. Um, but overall, I mean, I thought my stuff was really good today. Um, Got to limit the walks, um, but that would come. Got plenty more starts ahead. Um, and really just made one mistake to Fam, and he got it. So overall, I mean, the, the scoreboard isn't going to say it. Um, definitely have room to improve, but I, I really like where my stuff's at right now. In that first inning with the back-to-back -back walks, anything you could put your finger on, do, would you attribute that to, to the jitters and getting out of whack, or just after doing pretty well, just four consecutive balls? I, I really think it's just trying to do too much. Um, really just trying to do it all by myself instead of really trusting my stuff and getting early contact. Really just trying to strike everybody out on the first pitch, which obviously that's not going to work. So um, a lot of good learning moments first start of the year. So use this going forward and make adjustments. What adjustment did you make after the first? Um, I think really... After I made that error, they, you know, put two r runs up on the board. So I'm like, okay, that happened. So we got to move forward and and keep my team in the ball game. And was able to do that for the next couple innings. And unfortunately, if I don't hit Lacastro with those two strikes, I think that inning goes a lot goes a lot different. And you know, Fam uh, hit a good pitch there. So.